Alright, so welcome back. Hoping you're having a fabulous day here today. As you all know, the beautiful uh, Valentine's update is now out, so you can go and have fun with basically everything that's released, which it's not bad. It's, a, it's actually a pretty kind of decent uh, update itself. There's a lot to go through, right? And with it, I wanted to just give you a few things that you should be doing, getting uh, started. And one thing you should buy right away, because people are still complaining over it, it's not bad. I don't know. Literally, they're comparing it to the Christmas event, right? And I think it's the Christmas event. Hopefully, I'm getting that right. Like, the gift boxes in the coin shop. I'll just jump right into it. Like, and subscribe. I'll the sun. But people are comparing that to this. These two things are completely separate, okay? Listen, this is what this is, all right? All you got to do is go over here. Go to your uh, friendship coin area. Hit claim, okay? Now, we go back out to this, okay? Now, I got 1.8K. Basically, you can get more than 1,000. I think, like, the max is, like, 16... Uh, 1600 or 1800 you get a day for uh, friendship coins and that's not without like using the uh, association stuff like that um, or the support characters right but let's say you get a thousand minimum you you can get more easily if you have more friends right you get that you can still buy your uh, your coin pots all right people or rather stamina pots right people are saying oh this is this is worthless i can get like four or five stamina pots a day this is garbage it's not bad you're it's like it's here for 14 days you're losing out on a couple of stamina pots but you have a chance to walk away with some decent stuff Yes, you might lose if you get this, if you don't really need it, but you win in every other kind of capacity where this is good, this is good, this is good, this is great, right? Or rather, they're all great, but that's it. These two, not bad if you just need to go and awaken more characters. It's fine. This also isn't too bad. I mean, it's there for one, it's, it's there for 14 days, okay? Just buy it. Don't, like, just, just get it one time. It's sold out as one per day. You're only wasting a thousand. You still have more friendship coins, all right? Now go back and buy your stamina pots and whatever you else you buy a day with it. Go and have fun. But it is still worth it, okay? It is not like the um, other ones for Christmas. Those costed a gold coin, silver coins, and platinum coins, okay? That was separate. Yes, one of them were worth it. The other ones were more gambly. This is just plain worth it. That's it. That's all I got to say. It is plain worth it. And again, also, if you didn't know... Every single day, you get like three Valentine's boxes from places. And if you progress through the store, you get a bunch there. So just make sure you take care of those boxes and open them afterwards. But you do get three a day. I don't know how to check where they drop from. Um, there used to be like a way. I think it's in the other tab. But if I were to like check right here. Is it... It doesn't drop here. Yeah, so I don't know where it exactly drops. But I do know it drops. I do know it drops. Is it... Like, do you check over here? Uh, there used to be like a button, bro. Oh, you just click it? Okay, let's see. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Valentine's chocolate material. These. This is it. Lucky chocolate drop event. You get it from Boss Battle, Deathmatch, Training Grotto, Knighthood Boss Battle, right? You can get like three a day. Then if you open them, you can actually get some pretty decent stuff in them. So yes, you can get three a day. And you also get some from um, the storyline, right? So as you progress to that storyline, the Valentine's one, you'll get a few there. You'll also get a few, uh, three a day. So... Over the course of 14 days, do not miss out on this one because it does have some decent rewards on the side. Again, I already know people are going to be like, oh, that's, that's pretty crap. Yes, it's not as good as the summer one, which gave you gems. Okay, that one gave you gems. They had like a chance for it. I have them unopened on my account still, the uh, the 10 they gave us. So at some point, I'll open that. But um, yeah, this is not the same. It's definitely different. It has me uh, basically like these three are really good. It's not that bad if you need um, affinity leveled up. These are just okay if you need to like... If you're running one of those mats for some reason, um, these two are pretty solid. Okay, three of those might need uh, another 50 more and potentially you can level up a character one time. Um, this is not bad. This is terrible. Uh, not bad, not bad. It's again, it depends on what you need. Okay, it's still worth it. You get a bunch of these. So see if you get anything good out of them. Uh, make sure to open them up here. Uh, for example, that's good. Okay, for me, that's good. The other two, you know, you got me there. But other than that, hey, it is pretty fine. Just go three times a day. And do it. It's from boss um, battles. Anything, literally. Just just check what's from, and then go and have fun, and just get all three every single time. Super simple. And then again, there's also the uh, the main event. Have fun with that. Enjoy it. Um, there's also this, which is back again. Uh, it's the basic like trade event. Always get the rewards. Have fun with it. Super simple. Also, make sure you do it every single day, though. These events trigger me for the reason they take the longest for some reason. Um, but they're available, I think, in Coin Shop, right? So if you need extra, you can always buy from Coin Shop. Which I believe, yeah, it's right there. So if you need extra, always buy from Coin Shop if that is a requirement for you. Um, but again, Final Boss is also back, so take care of Final Boss. Have fun with that too. Super kind of easy Final Boss to farm and get rid of. Uh, it's like the team that I use is like a two turn, so it's super freaking easy. Um, in comparison to other Final Bosses, 
but again just a bunch of rewards in here which they are super useful these will be your rewards by the way okay for the festival so grab everything before the festival drops and you'll be ready for the next character literally everything here will get you ready for the next character that's the purpose of this right that's why i released like that um both events are stacked in demonic um or the demon mats and all of that ssr pendants are over the place your pendants super awakening coins it's all there for the reason that you'll be able to definitely clear out everything um and then be ready when the fez drops again it drops literally right after this okay so for global we'll get the fez on the 28th for jp they're gonna get it on the 23rd so we'll have patch notes tonight for garbage basically it's a dead week um but after this you'll get the good stuff um which on the 23rd uh we'll start getting like the teasers and stuff like that if they choose to do it 19th or 20th around there right so that is what you can look forward to um basically with the festival itself but yeah the events are also on the forum if i can hop down i'll show it to you real quick but yeah on the forum they already started the first one these are still there rain rock favorite scene event still there the uh dragon strategy event still there and the labyrinth season two event i think that's gonna end or it might have already ended but they did start this one which hero do you want to give your chocolates to yeah choose a hero give your chocolates to them and you win three aces or pendants it's pretty basic but I think that's the only one they've started so far. Keep an eye on the forum. They'll announce more. Um, there's two more that have to drop, which they announced already on JP. But just literally, write a character you're going to give your chocolates to. We're all going to put Freya. And you're done. Is she an option? Everyone's going to write Freya, right? There's no other option. Uh, there is, but it's not a right option. You know what I mean? And then again, the costumes also are uh, out. Not for gems, though. Okay, I got like two comments initially saying, Oh, Gogo, -Go, you lied to me. You said they're available for gems. No, genius. They're available for gems in two weeks, right? So it's going to be two weeks, and then you can buy them for gems. Right now, fork over, like, uh, how much is it? $17, $20? Yeah, $20 for gems or $13 for, like, the regular set. Again, hey, if you want to spend the money, you spend the money. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not your uh, your money coach. That's you. That's you. You do you, all right? But these are some good costumes. I would spend the gems on them when they release for that. I will be buying Esmer, um his set, and probably two pieces for Millie probably all pieces okay i, I gotta do that um, but that depends on the, on the festival whatever the festival is we'll talk then so we'll see this is also there which will be available for uh for gems later and there's also this one which i don't even know why the hell would you buy this um is this like bob ross bro let's look at him look at his head bro what the hell but yeah i have no idea why you do that but go buy that also if you want these things uh, where are they? Weapon? I keep forgetting they're under, uh, they're under weapon, but if you want these, you can finally buy them. If you recently pulled dairy from the uh, Melly banner or whatever, if you want this, it's also out. So have fun. That's basically the update. That's really been it for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe. Peace out, enjoy, and bye. Yeah.